guess what? You know what I got this mask on for? Because we're going to be a little cooking in the kitchen and I'm not going to, I don't want to spit in the food. So I've got Harvey here. He's my sidekick, my sous chef for today. And we're going to get cooking as soon as I give you a special announcement. Well, and I'm going to take this thing off because it was made for a kid and it's giving me a headache. But it doesn't matter if I spit in the food. Fred and I are the only ones that are going to eat it. Right, Fred? Yep. Okay, see you on the other side. Well, hey there out in Nettie land. It's Nettie here and it's, you know, Thursday before Easter. And I've got a nice project for you. But before I do, I've got some bittersweet news to share with you. Well, I'm going to be leaving. Nettie's not going to be doing Nettie anymore. Not, at least not in the way I've been doing it. Because, well, the good news is that Oprah called. <laughs> Oprah! She called and she said, I want you to come on the OWN channel and have a little show. <laughs> I'm so excited. I mean, I'm so excited. So, you know what else? April Fool's! <laughs> well, it is April 1st. You know, you may not get it up on the webinet until tomorrow, but I had to do that. But, you know, it's kind of been a dream of mine that I could move on to something else. But right now, this is where God has planted me, and I'm going to grow and root and do all that kind of stuff. So what are we going to do? Well, I have an exciting thing to do, and it's kind of for my grandkids, too. So, you know, it's Nan and Daddy's here, and it's kind of moments with Nan and Daddy, but it's also for adults. So I'll probably have to, well, you know, that's what the other button's for. But I want to show you right now. Here's here's one thing I want to show you. I have a friend with me. Can you see him? Ah! Harvey's my friend. He's always with me. He kind of reminds me of Jesus because Jesus is always sitting beside me. And Harvey becomes kind of a reminder that if you could see Jesus, what would you be saying right now? I'm sure this isn't what it. Yeah, well, you know, Harvey gets after me a lot. So let me just show you what Harvey's up to. But my phone in a different mode so you can see Harvey. He's a little lazy. He should be helping me. He's been into the Easter chocolate again, just like last year. But he's sitting here reading his favorite books. There's the Runaway Bunny and the Rabbit's Adventure and the Velveteen Rabbit and the Egg Book and the Lively Little Rabbit and Bugs Bunny. <laughs> he kind of likes that character. He gets a little mad when I steal the limelight from him, but you know, he's going to have to just sit there and be patient with me because now I'm going to do a little project. I wondered what we could do for Easter. And, and although today is um, Holy Thursday and tomorrow we have Good Friday and it's a somber time, I do like to to remember that we already know what Easter means. And so, you know, Easter eggs and all that kind of stuff, the children love it. And hopefully we can kind of help them figure out that, you know, Easter isn't all about chocolate and Easter eggs. It's more of a, about baked ham and potato salad. <laughs> no, not really. You know, for, for us of faith, Easter is um, a solemn and a rejoiceful time. But, you know, there are a lot of people in the world that celebrate Easter differently. And they look at it as the springtime and the, the renewal and new life. And, you know... The butterflies and the new chicks and the new bunnies and the egg. You know, all of that kind of represents my faith. And and I love the idea that the whole world can, can chime in and celebrate springtime together. So we're going to do it in a way that I kind of like the best. Food! We're not going to do anything good for you either. So we're going to make... Oh, where's my package? Has anybody seen this? Hot tamale, fierce cinnamon, peeps. Ha! I hate peeps normally. Let me get one of those little buggers over here. Hold the camera, Harvey. Well, you know what? I tasted one. I don't care for peeps too much and marshmallows too sugary, but then it's that flavoring. Hot tamale. That's pretty good. So we're gonna we're gonna use those to make hot tamale popcorn eggs. <laughs> so we're gonna start with some popcorn. Now I saw a recipe on YouTube and it inspired me. 
And, oops, I just spit a peep on me. Okay, so you're supposed to go to the movie theater and get the buttery popcorn. And then you're supposed to get a box of hot tamales and chop them up. Well, I bought the hot tamales and I ate them. So we're not going to put those in here. But apparently it's a thing that people go to the people go to the uh, theater and they they eat with popcorn, eat hot tamales together. So we're just going to make it all into popcorn eggs. So here we go. I'm going to pop the popcorn now. Oh, it's almost it's almost ready. Okay, I think it's done. I think it's done. Stop. Stop. Pause. Get that bag out of there. Ooh, it's hot. I'm gonna open this. Get it put in here. Okay. So that's way too much popcorn. But it needed six cups, and there's only five cups in the bag of this. So I guess Fred and I are gonna be watching the movie tonight. So let's get this all measured out. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and one to grow on. Mmm, I love popcorn. Okay, next. Look at these little peeps. They're all waiting in line. And over here, we have the butter that's all melting and it's all ready for those peeps to just slide right in and take a little hot bath in butter. Well, I'm not going to show that because it's kind of sad, you know. But here they are, just after they've stopped their squawking from, you know, that big hot dip. You know, poor little peeps. Well, here they are, melting, 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 and we stir and stir, so I'm not showing that part either. It gets boring and... Just watch them melt into oblivion. Ooh. We have been blessed with chickens to feed us, but, well, peeps don't count. Here we go. We're almost ready. And when we get done with this, we're just going to pour it over there. I'm going to stir it up. And then I'm just going to use some, uh, well, I usually butter my fingers. Butter fingers! <laughs> yes. Butter fingers. That way, you know, it doesn't stick to your fingers and, you know, I'll have just enough time and I've already washed my hands. I do that and I, you know, I make sure they're sanitary. Oh, here we go. So let me get my mat laid out. Turn this off. I'll be right back. Well, I got my butter out and I'm going to I'm gonna do my hands now. Okay. Maybe I better stir it first. So we're going to pour it in. Okay, here we go. Pour this all in before it hardens. Boy, good thing I didn't do my hands first. Oh, look at that, that's so pretty. Oh, and it's just gonna harden on the pan. It's gonna be so much fun to clean while Fred's doing the dishes. I got a bum knee, so I don't stand up for very long right now. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, the recipe was so good. So I used about, you know, six cups of popcorn and six tablespoons of butter. That's all I did. And then melted those, melted the butter with the peeps. And now we're just pouring it over here. It's a simple, simple recipe. And you know, a lot of times I just do this with regular marshmallows. And then what I do is put maybe M&Ms in it. Oh, I love, we make, we make uh, birthday cakes out of popcorn. Okay, here we go. Now, this is going to be really easy. Where's my butter? Okay, Fred's going to see, Fred's going to see fingerprints in here. So, that's okay. So now, we grab a bunch of this, and we just form it into an Easter egg. It's pure and simple. You know, the good thing about this is, you don't have to make a perfect circle. There they go. I'm laying eggs. <laughs> so, you know, Trying to do something like this with your grandkids or your children could be so much fun because, you know, if you want to get them some little gloves to put on or something, that's okay. But really, the butter works really well. They're not perfect. You can kind of compact them a little bit. You know, maybe let them dry just a little bit, then compact them. Like, whoop! The one I just did, compact it a little bit. And so, 
You could call them, you know, for a birthday party. They could be dinosaur eggs. You know how little kids just love to do dinosaurs. So just use your imagination. And if you want to put little speckles in there of little, you know, miniature M&Ms or something to make the dinosaur speckled eggs or whatever. Circles. You can, you know, then, of course, press them into a pan. Now, for the birthday cake, when I make this, I, I put M&Ms in. And maybe I'll do that for you sometime. You just use regular marshmallows. You can use different colors if you want for, the, you know, get a peep. Or put some, just marshmallows, put in some food coloring. And then, oops, I need some more butter. Well, Fred, he's going to just love me. Okay, what was I saying? Oh, so I use a butt pan or I use just an angel food cake pan. And we make regular marshmallows and then I put in I put in um, M&Ms and if it's Christmas Christmas M&Ms or Halloween M&Ms or Easter M&Ms I could have put little M&Ms in here well since Fred and I are the ones that are going to be eating this probably then we don't need any more calories I'll probably give a couple of these away too because you know I don't want to get fat on my own if you feed your neighbor something fattening <laughs> well it's not like you want them to get fat too, but for some reason, it makes me feel better about myself if somebody else is eating it, and I can too. <laughs> okay. Unless you have diabetes, you better count this because, you know, you are getting some sugar and carbs. And, you know, it, it's rich. For me, it's rich. And these will last. You just wrap these in some saran wrap and, um, oh, generic wrap. Well, I've never gotten in trouble for saying saran wrap. It's a free commercial. And just think, when I do get on Oprah, if I'm just dropping a few names or so, they're going to thank me. Maybe I'll charge them. Okay. Come on. We're almost done. We've only got like three more to do. And that one is getting a little... you got to really keep your hands buttered. So, you know, this is the fun part of Easter. And I can't help but really, you know, think about a lot of things at Easter time, and how things are blossoming. Isn't it kind of a wonderful thing? You know, we shut down around springtime last year and that was hard for so many of us because we're usually out and about and planting and doing that. But I think last year when we were planting and we really wanted to be able to plant things that we could, we could pick and eat so that we didn't have to go into the grocery store because it was dangerous. And that happened during springtime, a time when you'd normally come out. But I remember how profound it was to think that we were all quarantined into our homes, and a lot of us really quarantined, and how the darkness of that paralleled to what the darkness must have felt like in the tomb. And some of the feelings of not seeing each other and losing people to COVID and how you'd never see them again. Well, for those of us who believe in the resurrection, Easter was a gift because we knew that even though we were still locked up in our houses, that there's still hope. And the message of springtime is the same message that even when some of our plants die or the trees look like they'll never come back again, that's my lilacs. My lilacs, every time they bloom, reminds me that we are here on earth, and if we take good care of it, if we take really good care of our earth, we're going to see trees blossom and feeding us. And it's up to us to take care of it. And, you know, spring is a gift. Spring is a gift, but so is death. Death is a gift. If you know that there's something waiting for you. And um, I know not everybody feels that way, but you know, I'm Nettie and I'm me, and this is what I feel. And I feel that the hope of spring is the hope of resurrection. We got nine of them out, nine of them. And it took, how many peeps did it take? Let me look at my package. Three times six, eight, no, three times 10, 30 peeps to make these Easter eggs. Well, bless those little peeps. 
I just hope you enjoyed this, you know. I can't help but enjoy it. Well, should I taste test one? Okay. I'll do this little one. Fierce hot tamale peach. Mm. So good. I'll get Fred in here. Oh my goodness. Well, I better not eat in front of you. Oh, sorry, I'm messy. It is okay. Because you know what? Peeps make the world go round. I mean, they're here every holiday, right? Mm. Get yourself some peeps. And get yourself some popcorn. Make a few little of these dinosaur eggs. And always remember. Nettie loves you more than peeps for sure. Be the light. Be first responder in love. And always wash your hands when you're done. Bye-bye. Nettie loves you. You know, if you want to see more of these educational videos from Nettie, if you subscribe, then Nettie will be around for a long time. Well, please subscribe.